All right, class, today we're going to continue, uh, continue a little bit with our 2MC work that we did last week. Um, our objective with this one is um, going to be to go over a little bit about uh, what green operations may mean uh, moving into your guys' careers. As you know, with issues such as the oil slick that's happened in the Gulf of Mexico recently with BP and issues such as that, green operations and overall just consciousness for what operations within a business do to the environment is going to become very important moving into the future. So this 2MC deals a little bit with uh, making decisions based on a profitable operation that has negative ramifications in the environmental community. So I'm going to read it just in the interest of time. You are the CEO of a company that specializes in producing high technology products which are marketed toward the middle and upper class. Your company has recently been experiencing tremendous economic growth and you received a substantial raise last quarter as a result. You enjoy working for the company and you are proud of its technological contributions to society. One day at work, you are informed about rumors that have been spreading regarding pollution from a manufacturing plant located in an underdeveloped country that produces the components for your company's products. You do some research and find out that the firm has not broken any laws with the amount of pollution that factory is releasing, but you also learn that the pollution is causing health problems for the factory workers as well as the residents of the community surrounding the factory. After, discuss after discussing the issue with some of your executives, you realize that decreasing the amount of pollutants the factory emits will result in a large drop in profit. What do you do? All right, guys, what, you, what I want you to do at this time is break up into groups of four. What was that? Yes, groups of four, groups of four. You can work with the people around you, that's fine. Um, break up into groups of four, discuss what you think some of the issues are, um, some of the questions that you might want to ask, uh, whether it be um, what questions you would ask of people down at the plant, of other executives in your company, things that would help you resolve the issue a little bit better, and then discuss some um, courses of action you may, you may be able to take um, in this specific circumstance. So go ahead, talk for a couple minutes, and see what you come up with. All right, class, we come back together. All right, so can I hear a little bit about uh, what some of the groups might have come up with in terms of what are some of the issues that are, um, that are relevant here to uh, this specific circumstance? Anybody? Yes. Okay, good, good, I like that one. Um, some of the issues that I came up with are uh, that the company's profits will obviously be affected if you attempt to resolve this situation by reducing the pollutants, and that may be a problem for some. Um, factory workers and neighboring residents at the same time are getting sick by the pollutants that this factory produces, so that's something that, like we've discussed, um, green operations are becoming very important, and in a lot of countries, even third, third world countries, the industrialized world isn't going to be receptive to um, that kind of treatment of the, of the um, native countries that uh, your operations take place in. So that could be a large um, decision-making factor for you there. The company's also, one of the things I came up with, which is a major one, is that the company's reputation is on the line. What do you do if Time Magazine learns that you had full knowledge of this and that people are literally dying because of the operations of your company? That could be a major issue and something you should consider. How about some of the rules and regulations that may be relevant to this in terms of what your decision-making might be? Yes? Anybody? Yes. I like that. Very good. Very good. Um, some of the rules and like regulations that I came up with are the company policy and code of conduct. What does your actual statement have to say about um, what you do in a situation like this or how your company is supposed to treat its employees and the community itself? Um, there might be pollution laws in the United States and the country where your factory is producing. Obviously, um, we've already determined that legally you're not um, breaking any laws um, in the country that you're producing in, but at the same time, maybe you want to follow the U.S. pollution laws in order to hold yourself to a higher standard in this particular circumstance. Outside of the questions that you would ask, um, what are some of the resources that you might have in terms of people you could ask um, in order to come up with a good decision in this matter? Anybody? Yes? Yeah, very good. Um, as we said before, pollution laws in both countries, that's a very good answer. Other companies in the industry you may be able to talk to other executives that you know. That could always be a good practice. So all in all, some of the options that I think it sounds like we've come up with today are you may choose to do nothing and continue to allow the factory to produce its toxic chemicals and injure the community where the factory is located, but as we probably understand, that's probably not the best bet as with the media today, there undoubtedly somebody will find out about that and seeking bigger profits will never be a justifiable response to uh, pollution that your company produces. So probably the best 
course of action that we could take in this sense to step in, stop the operation that's polluting um, the surrounding environment, and seek to reduce that pollution as much as possible and increase the standard of living where your company is operating, increase the standard of living of the people surrounding it and um, the people who make your product in the company. So given that decision, I think um, we can all understand that green operations are going to become very are going to become very important moving into the future for you guys. Um, that should always be something that you have in the back of your head when you start to research companies, um, how they treat situations like that. It might even be a good question to ask of employers and, um, and different recruiters that you talk to about how they deal with environmental issues, especially when it's manufacturing companies and things like that. So you guys did a great job today. Um, just in closing, like you guys, I like to remind everybody to do assignments 4.2 to 4.13. Um, get those done for next week. Uh, make sure they're done well. I'm going to be collecting them at the beginning of class. Other than that, I'm going to open it up for questions before we head out.